welcome to today's video. Welcome back to Turkey. Right now in Fethiye in the Airbnb here. And you know, actually this morning I started it out close to the gym. Nice Sunday morning. Thought we'd have a nice workout. Standing in front of the gym and it's closed. Should have known that and had the situation already in Turkey. On the Sundays it's closed, but hey, let's, let's, let's say use it as an opportunity. Uh, rented out another scooter for right now. Just gonna hop on it spontaneously, drive around, go around the area, and uh, today probably going to a little bit of a different part of, uh, let's say, the Fethiye area. forgot Sunday. I like it. Mm -hmm. Huh? When can you get one of this? Okay, so after some early difficulties with the bike, the tire kept getting like flattening out. We exchanged it to a new scooter. It was soft, it was like shh, shh, shh. We went to the mechanic, he went like shh. But then he said, this, this is no good, he said. On the road, this right now is the main long beach in Fethiye and the city we're staying at. So it's always the goal when, you know, just being out in nature and different beaches is to find something a little bit more secluded a little bit more hidden maybe something more special you know the process always gives the reward and back there there's like a bunch of small islands so let's go and check it out top of the mountain next to the beach. I think the name of the town is Gocek and this is kind of like really my go-to. Wherever you get you climb on a little bit of a mountain you get an amazing view and it just feels so much different. A little bit dangerous maybe where we're keeping it safe like down there super blue water it's really cool. It's so beautiful but be careful though. Okay is this advice for our oh. <laughs> is this advice for our audience or for me? I guess it's for me. We kind of feel like they have kind of like strategy here. Alrighty, so right now I just stopped by spontaneously again at one of the many many markets and we have checked out many of them and the thing is every time you walk in sometimes the price is under like 10 pounds there's a lot of Brits here it's kind of like a hundred lira a little bit more than 10 euro and then there's a sweater right next to it and I'm like hey how much is it it's like in almost every store they're like oh, 300 lira <laughs> and I'm like oh yeah 300 well I can do like maybe 10 pounds and it's kind of like I guess a little bit of strategy wherever you go, but um, yeah. What are we gonna get? Excuse me? Oh, learn Turkish, mashallah. <laughs> Stopping by here at a restaurant, I gotta say, in every country I visit, I have like one favorite food that I usually get a little bit hooked, a little bit stuck on. Here in Turkey, it happened to be the lahmacun. I think this is actually the best one so far. Really? Most of the time they have it like quite crunchy. This one is a little bit more softer. Love it. So just bread with definitely some meat in there, sauce. I like super crunchy. I like this one better.
for tonight. Finally, I have to book flights for the next country. Alrighty guys, next day, let's talk a little bit about the title of this video. I thought, let's spice it up uh, and also answer some of the questions that I've been receiving. Like on the one side, I got this question, it's like, yo, is Turkey safe to travel right now? Let me close the door real quick. And things like that and generally kind of like expectations versus reality of traveling Turkey. I do it with uh, pretty much every place I go to out of the way, first of all. Like, Istanbul is already one of my favorite cities of all time. Definitely in the top five, maybe even top three. I haven't thought about it too thoroughly and generally I don't do that. Uh, taking, let's say, every place for what it is. But Istanbul was such a cool mix of East and West. Such a, uh, on one side, super developed modern city at the same time with ancient, extremely old and historical parts of it. And also there were like some super touristy areas, but at the same time, very local, very authentic, very let's say chill and calm areas as well. You can, you can watch the video from Istanbul. I think I posted two videos. And at this point I've been two weeks in Turkey. And first of all, to get it out of, out of the way, it's like I, I got this on Instagram like 10 times. I mean, right now, now a lot of people are unsure whether or not they can travel. And Turkey is one of those places that are open for the most amount of people. And you really notice it right now. The tourism is just extremely high. Like Istanbul was packed with people as of right now. In Fethiye, in a few hours, we're gonna go to Kash, then maybe pass by Antalya. Uh, also try to do a few more local spots. I mean, the, the cities are full of people. But to real quickly get the question out of the way, is Turkey safe to travel? So far, it's probably one of the safest countries I've ever been, just because purely to the extent that many or even most of the cities that are known are extremely developed from a touristic perspective. So like right now here in Fethiye and the part of them staying in the old town, it's like pretty much everything is set up to catering to tourists, which has its pros and cons, but also a police presence is here to a certain extent, like nothing crazy, but like it's so calm. Like after being here for two, three weeks, I, I would say most of the parts, especially the tourists go Super safe to get it out of the way and also to travel here right now in Turkey as a, um, is one of, let's say, the most relaxed in terms of uh, the epidemiology, <laughs> uh, in terms of the epidemic, in terms of restrictions, in terms of entering the country. Um, obviously, it's a little bit different for every country. Some have to do a test. I think the US, you just look it up. Uh, I didn't have to do anything. They just let you in right away and maybe do like a temperature test. That's it. And um, but talk a little bit about, let's say, expectation versus reality of coming to Turkey. Before I came to Turkey, I expected some nice beaches, but I also expected it to be very, very busy, a lot of tourists, and uh, Istanbul, I was not sure. So as mentioned already, to get it out of the way, one of my favorite cities, and the nature also, you have seen it maybe in the last video, also in this video, it's absolutely amazing. I mean, definitely very, very high up there with everything else. But the point that I do want to address a little bit is, let's say the downside of very, very high tourism, also from a lot of different countries. Like here's a lot of Russians, a lot of British, and also depending, depending on the town, like we have been to this town, I think it's called Olu Denis, something like that, uh, where they do the paragliding. And uh, there, pretty much everybody, like even the local, like the local market people, they try to speak to you in a British accent a little bit, and people ask you where you're from. Basically, it's really super catered. Like all the price signs are even in pounds. Like you ask them for the price, and they tell you the pound price. I'm like, I know roughly how much a pound is. But with that, for me personally, I would say Turkey is more of a vacation place, to for most parts, and I haven't seen that much yet I'm gonna stay for another 10 days and also the goal is gonna to be to get a car to maybe go out into the villages a little bit because that's what I personally enjoy after traveling and living nomadically for quite some time I personally um, it, it gets quite tiring to live in a tourist town where everybody wants to be like yo today do you want to go paragliding tomorrow do you want to do this tour do you want to do that tour is like where are you from my friend and you know they just want to like uh, chug you on the car and just like drive you off to the next tourist destination and um, basically make money, which is a good thing, a good thing for the local economy. And obviously I very much understand it. And another part, another question that I wanted to touch on today, a little bit, which is, which is quite funny in many ways, is let's say 
local little scams, local little trickeries. Which, I mean, there's like funny things. Like in Istanbul, I first actually heard it, somebody mentioned it in a video on the side. Um, the guys who, who clean the shoes, you know, they wander around the streets with their brushes and their product to clean people's shoes. But now I'm, I'm pretty sure it's a tough business, so I can also empathize with these guys. But basically what they do often is a little scam, a little trickery is they drop their brush and then you pick it up, you help them out and they're like, my friend, just to help, they just like to pay you back, thank you so much for picking up my brush. Basically they just walk in front of you and then they brush, um, drop their brush and then they want to clean your shoes and then they ask for money. And from the guy that I watched this video, he said that he asked for like 80 lira and he gave it to them because he felt bad because he cleaned like his shoes and his girlfriend's shoes. And um, for me personally, like things like that happened quite a lot. Like the brush thing happened to us twice, like literally twice in like four days in Istanbul. And it was really funny. First time we experienced it, I was about to pick it up. Then Bianca's like, yo, it's the brush thing. I'm like, oh, okay. And then the guy was almost like surprised that I didn't pick up the brush. So, and then there's like small things. Like let's say, like straight up again, like uh, I know some people are gonna get a little bit offended, but uh, let's say when we arrived, we bought some kebabs, quite a lot of stuff, and he charges like 90 lira, which is like 10 euro, and it was quite a lot of stuff, so I was like, yeah, it's fine. But then I'm like thinking like, no, it was not 90 lira. So after like 30 seconds almost on my way out, I'm like, sorry, can you please explain me how the, how the price like happened to be 90 lira? And then he's like breaking it down, da da da, um, and it was like 49 or like 54 lira or something, almost like, he pretty much almost doubled the price and then they're like, oh, I'm sorry, it was a mistake. And th at that time I was like, yeah, happens, sure. I'm walking out, I'm like, yeah, happens, of course, you know. And then two days, literally same thing. Like same thing, I, I'm buying like a bunch of food and they just write the price. And obviously it's like a little bit of a barrier. Not everybody wants to be like, well, how, how does this price come about? And um, not everybody wants to ask that, so you just pay. But for me personally, after like a week, I'm almost like all the time, like who wants to scam me, who wants to scam me? It's just a, a state that I personally don't want to be. Sometimes I walk around here at like some local market, I just want to ask for the price and they go like 200 lira for like a bag. And then you walk off and they're like, okay, 40 lira, you want to have it? And like even, I just want to you know the, I just wanted to know the price. So this is like a big thing in Turkey, but it's super uh, understandable because of the super high tourism and pretty much whenever you look like someone from, let's say, whatever, from a country where you come here to spend your time, spend your money. So um, this is pretty much the reality and uh, one of my goals definitely will be to venture out a little bit, about, but, but still, if you get a scooter, if you get your own transportation, you just drive out some of the spots, like natural spots here, some of the beaches, if you arrive a little bit earlier, like nature-wise and everything in terms of that, absolutely amazing. So I can highly recommend that it's probably one of the best places for vacation and so with that i hope you enjoyed today's little video today's little insight in terms of scams or however you want to call it just to share the unfiltered travel experience here from turkey i'm gonna be for another 10 days i do hear the mosque in the background i would say this is my call we're gonna see each other in the next city which is gonna be kash um supposed to be a nice cute little city so as of right now rocking out to kash from fethiye actually we're thinking to stay even one more night but getting a little bit too comfortable, a little bit too slow here. Um, time to change the environment a little bit. Thank you, bye bye. All right, let's rock out the cash. Hello.